say, Maggie, you look wonderful. You look terribly elegant and beautiful and uh, effortlessly chic. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going for. Really? <laughs> Have you spent a lot of time in France uh, in the world of fashion? Da, 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 da. Hey, too little too late, buddy. <laughs> we were doing this thing. Our faces got a little close there. I got a fright. Did you see that? <laughs> You were like adjusting in your seat and your face came close and I went like that and I went, oh, we're going to make out. <laughs> and we didn't and the moment passed. And it scared you? It frightened well, you? Well, it scared me a little bit because I was like, where, where am I going? What's happening with us? <laughs> I'll keep myself right over here. No, no, you can help yourself to anything I've got, but I, um... Uh... Well, the movie looks like a real thrill, right? That's Channing Tatum in there. Yep. <laughs> True. I met true. him, you know. Was he here? No, but he's coming here actually for this next week. Yeah, yeah. But I met him in New Orleans. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's I got a bar New there. Orleans. Oh, yeah, me too. I don't know what it's like to be there with Channing Tatum, but it's okay, you know. <laughs> you find yourself kind of disappearing into the background a little bit. <laughs> I know. I'm but, sure that would be my experience. But before. it's uh, when you're in New Orleans, you don't uh, you don't flash your boobies around at people, do you or anything? <laughs> I haven't yet. I'm, I'm, I've never been there for uh, what do you, Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras? No. I, I went there for the Super Bowl and Mardi Gras was at the same site. I loved it, though. I went for Jazz Fest. Oh. I mean, Peter, my husband, was making a movie there. Right. So I was just hanging out, and the whole time was Jazz Fest, and it was amazing. It, it's really an amazing place. I got two tattoos when I was there. I was only there for a week. <laughs> did you really? Do you have any tattoos? Yeah, I have five. Yeah, do you have any? No, I have none. My, you're, you're... my mother has a tattoo that she got a couple of years ago. Um, Where? I wonder if I should say. <laughs> I won't say, but well, she's, she's newly divorced mm -hmm. and getting tattooed. Yes, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a very wise horse. He's been through some very difficult relationships. <laughs> I see with the blue eyeshadow. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, that's tattoos. Uh, <laughs> my aunt Susan has uh, her eyeliner tattooed on her eyes. There's a woman at the airport. Every time I fly to London, she checks me in, and she's got eyeliner tattooed all over her face. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's not my aunt Susan. She doesn't work there. Okay. <laughs> Are you saying my aunt Susan works at the airport? I'm not saying anything. Yeah, you did. You just implied it. <laughs> but she, she, she really tattooed her face. I, I. I don't know. I mean, I feel like my makeup, I, well, I wear very little makeup usually. Now I'm wearing a lot, but I, it, I'd like to be able to change it. Isn't yeah, that yeah. Idea? Well, I think it's just in there. She doesn't have it all done. It's just like a little bit under there. Yeah. She's like, oh, I've got a tattoo too, when I told her that I got a tattoo. I'm thinking, I think it would be kind of amazing to, well, I had this one idea for a tattoo, actually. I mean, this is, it's bold. But when I got married, mm -hmm. I thought, and I didn't do it, that on like the small of my back, I wanted oh, to girls tattoo. Never get tattoos there. Well, no, Why would you think that? I wanted to do um, kind of big, like in like that cursive writing, uh, Mrs. Sarsgaard. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but he, he probably knows though, and <laughs> that's for everybody else to know. Well, do you know what I wanted to have on my back was a, a, a fox hunt tableau. <laughs> that people have on their curtains of like people, you know, from like the, so the 16th century. Yes, yeah. Or like little Bo Peep people with big... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like some kind of a toile. A toile. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. Toile. Well, what about uh, a fox hunt tableau of the, the hounds are chasing the fox and the tail is disappearing in your butt cheeks? Oh. I'm still thinking it's, it's worth it getting Go it done. It. Yeah. It. It's just trying to find the artist who'll do the fox tail as a... Uh, <laughs> But I liked New Orleans because I felt it was a very magical place. So do I. I felt that the veil between here and the hereafter was very thin. Yeah, it's not totally America. It's not totally Earth, I don't think. I know what you mean. And I did not party hard when I was there. No, I, I didn't I, at all. I, I don't. partied a little bit. Right. But I had a little kid. And I mean, it was probably the wildest I'd been in a, in a long time. Right. But even so, like, even if I wasn't, I wasn't on Bourbon Street, like, drinking all night long. No, 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 none of that. No, I'm talking about uh, down on uh, Frenchman. Did you go down there? Where all the music is. All the music is, is. yeah. And, yeah. That, and there's a great tattoo parlor there if you want your tattoo done. <laughs> Electric Lady Land. Uh, uh, yeah, it's. I'm know. not sold yet on the tattoo. Oh, but I, come on. But I did, uh, I did love New Orleans. Yeah, me too. I think I might like to go there and just live there quietly 
I don't think you can live there quietly. No, I, I could live there quietly in, you know, in a corner somewhere. <laughs> just watch, watch the folks go by. I'd, I'd be a hobo, you know, I'd have a beard and stuff. I couldn't live there. I couldn't live there, but I'd like to go back there. Hmm, all right. Well, that seems fair. Where do you live? New York? Yeah. Yeah. Brooklyn? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you might be Brooklyn. <laughs> Everyone goes to Brooklyn now. Why is that? Well, I mean, at first I moved to Brooklyn because it was cheaper. Yeah, the prices, I guess, yeah. And also, Trump's not in Brooklyn. That must be a big plus. <laughs> I never felt his presence very strongly when I lived in Manhattan, but... Actually, I lived in Brooklyn in college, and I told myself I would never, I would never go back after I got out, got back really? to the city. Yeah, I said, I'll never go back to Brooklyn. And now, you know, I... God, I like Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> you've, you've made me like it, I'm huh? not. I'm, oh, not yeah. I'm not sure it's where I'm going to end up. Well, where do you think you're going to end up? That countryside? That is the problem. I don't know. I'd love to live in the countryside. I'd love to live in Paris. Mm -hmm. I'd love to... I mean, I have all these fantasies, but, like, the reality is I live in Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what, about, what age are your kids? Uh, 14 months and six and three quarters. Yeah, you ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Actually, my, my six-year-old is here in the dressing room with me. What are you saying all for? <laughs> you never met the kid. He, he could be evil. She, she. She, she's not evil. Oh, she, sorry. She watching now? Uh -huh. What's her name? Ramona. Hello, Ramona. <laughs> I'm just talking to your mom. We'll be a few more minutes. And, uh, I mean, then you can get out of here. That's exactly what it's like for her. I yeah. mean, that's the truth. She came with me. She'd never come with me before to, to one of these before. And I think that is what she's thinking. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah just chat for do a bit. That, and then we'll, then we'll, well, that is, that's what it is. She's not wrong. She's not. No, no, that's pretty much what we do. We, we do have to show some, show some commercials. <laughs> I started talking about that just all of a sudden. No, but it's, it's unusual, actually, to be honest, to come on a talk show like this and sort of just talk. Yeah, no. <laughs> it is. It feels like I'm, like, doing it wrong. I mean, usually there's a... No, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> You're doing great. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Mikey Dillon Hall, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I was just talking to Maggie about Emma Thompson. His name came up. Why did that come up? Uh, she told me she loved you. Mm. That she thought you were great. And I, I, I really trust her. <laughs> I don't know if I would trust her, Maggie. I'm just trying to add an air of intrigue. I would no, trust now her. now it seems more like a talk show again. Yeah, I oh, really? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. I do. Oh, no, here's, here's, what, here's how I'll make it a talk show. You ready? Okay. So, I heard you just bought a house. <laughs> it's funny you should say that. Did you really just buy a house? No, no, oh, no, great. Really That's good. <laughs> That's what they all, I heard you just bought a house, and then they always say, what's the other thing they say? You guys, when on the set, do you all play pranks on each other? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, they do say that. Yeah. It's like, I hated that when I was an actor, and they would say, could you play pranks on each other? I go, I, no, it's my job. You don't go into your job and go, woohoo, whoopee cushion under the boss's seat. No, it's funny because it always makes me feel like I'm really boring at work. You're not. No, but I mean, they say, they say, did you play pranks on each other? Like, no, not really. No, we go, we get up in the morning, we no, go, we go do our job, work. we go home, yeah. But Jamie Foxx, actually, he... Yeah, but Jamie Foxx is crazy, though. <laughs> I love Jamie Foxx. He's, lo he's very nice. He was here for Django Unchained, and what a lovely gent oh, he was. what a good movie. Quentin, though, Quentin, Quentin doesn't make bad movies, oh, in my opinion. I totally agree. He's awesome. I, I love An American Tarantino. genius, Quentin. Honestly, Quentin Tarantino could ask me to do anything in a movie, and I would do it. I would do anything in a movie or not in a movie. <laughs> uh, I can't stand with you there. No, really? <laughs> All right, fair enough. But I do like Quentin very much indeed. Oh, and his movies are amazing. I know, I know. Did you see Inglorious Bastards? I saw all oh, of them. Oh, man, I love that Me one. Me too. Well, I mean, what could be bad about a movie? It's like, it's a bunch of guys, and all they do for the movies kill Nazis. I'm like, this is a great idea. <laughs> my, my friend told me it was Jewish porn. Yeah, well, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I loved it, though. It just it, He's so good. And when he's here, he's so open and, and generous. Well, it's... you know what, actually, I think about him is, you know when you're younger and maybe you kind of like the things your parents like or like the things your, mm -hmm. you know, your friends like or whoever it goes. I remember seeing um, Reservoir Dogs mm. and that was like one of the first movies I saw 
that I liked because I liked it. Mm. You know, I just it was it was my taste. It's, it's just, a pretty rough movie. I though. Love yeah, it. yeah. I was like 14 or something. Yeah, yeah. You're just right in the demographic for it right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because my oldest boy is 12, mm. and he's just on the edge of starting to discover those types of movies. And I'm kind of like, I wonder how that's gonna go. <laughs> Probably all right. I hope. Yeah. I don't know. Twelve is young. Still, still kind of. Well, I don't let him watch Reservoir Dogs yet. You yeah, know, but not Reservoir. He's watching SpongeBob and stuff. You know. <laughs> so you've got a very young one, right? Have you done? Is it Teletubbies or Yo no, Gabba no. Gabba? She watches some of the stuff her sister watches. With her sister, though, I've I sort of. I, she's gotten like three quarters of the way through a lot of movies that sort of get too dark at the end. All oh, right, yeah. Like like West Side Story yeah, and uh, Platoon. <laughs> <laughs> There are sections of Reservoir Dogs that are good for her. Oh yeah, <laughs> just, just <laughs> little bits. Yeah, the bit when they're yeah. in the diner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that. No, that's, no, uh, that's pulp fiction. Uh, yeah. 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 <sighs> well, I could talk to you. I could talk to you all night, but that doesn't work for TV. It sort of seems like it would with you, you know. Yeah, it, it would, but you know, CBS were like, oh, we got to sell stuff. <laughs> What, should, and then, we, what uh, should we sell? I don't know. What are you selling tonight? What are you selling tonight, Skippy? What are you selling? Yeah. Boner pills? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. They told me, actually, because they, they did ask me, oh, to talk, think of some stories and stuff to talk about with you. And then they told me that you would tear up your card and wouldn't talk to me about any of them. <laughs> but one of them was about this house that I did rent. And I got it from Airbnb. And they said, you can't say Airbnb on TV. So I thought, well, I'm going to come on know. and say uh oh <laughs> Well, now you're screwed. You'll be fired Airbnb. from show business. Well, you know what else I really like to say? Can I do this, actually? Yeah. I like to say, free pussy riot. No? No? Uh, we got a yes. Oh, yeah, we got a yes. Free pussy yeah. riot. Let me tell you how it works.